let me start out first by uh, addressing a TV show that's probably airing right now uh, in regards to uh, four former players here at Auburn. Uh, when I was the defensive coordinator here from 2002 to 2004, uh, all of the allegations that are out there on this particular show, uh, I can assure you, uh, in my three previous years here as an assistant, uh, I have no knowledge of any of that stuff. Uh, moving forward to being head coach here now at Auburn, that's not what we do here. That's not who we are. That's not what we stand for. Um, that's not how this program is going to be run. And uh, I feel very strongly about that. You know, um, it's sad to me, it's very sad to me, that HBO is going to go ahead and air uh, something that really, admittedly, they've got no proof on anything. What's disturbing to me is that they interviewed other former Auburn football players that had exactly the opposite to say. But somehow or another, that failed to make the air, unless I missed that, that section. So I've got other former players that are calling me that are still playing, and who are great players that absolutely had no knowledge of any of that stuff. So, uh, you know, it's just, it saddens me that um, somebody's going to air a show with basically one side being known. I think that's pathetic, and I think it's pure garbage. So, I feel really good about how Auburn is in this football program, in this athletic department is being run. I feel, uh, I feel great about uh, the reputation that we're trying to build here. So, uh, again, I think that's very clear about how I feel about it, and uh, I won't spend any more time on it. I'll move into spring practice uh, and uh, address a little bit of spring practice. Tonight we had to move practice to, uh, to the night because of the weather. And uh, what we did is we kind of had a, a half practice, half scrimmage. I uh, tried to get in about 40 or 50 plays in the scrimmage. Uh, obviously, you know, practice went well, but it was uh, kind of the first time we've been in practice fast-paced mode. So I think that got us a little bit on both sides. But the guys are really, really uh, practicing you know, at a high tempo, at least trying to. And they're trying really hard. I mean, we've got a ton of mistakes that we've got to correct, and we know that. But uh, bottom line is I'm proud of our guys, and uh, we've got a long, long way to go. Uh, but tonight was going to be a really good first look at true moving the ball situations with, with different things happening uh, in the scrimmage. So we'll learn a lot uh, you know, by this uh, for, for uh, Friday. Friday we'll be back on a normal schedule, and uh, hopefully the weather won't, won't play a part uh, in any more of this. So uh, with that, I will uh, I'll open this up to questions. At any time at HBO try to contact you about this segment that aired tonight? Absolutely not. When um, you were here as an assistant, uh, was there a culture of compliance here? In the football program? Let me tell you something. Our compliance office does a great job. And I'm going to say it again. I was here three years. I got absolutely no knowledge of any of that. And I don't have my head in the sand. So that's how I feel about it. Gene, did you ever come into this kind of scrutiny when you were at Texas and you got up on top? Was it the same kind of being on top and people trying to knock you down? You know what, Jeff? You know, here's, here, here's what we're doing here. Okay. If people are on the outside. They're going to speculate and, you know, they're going to ask all kinds of questions. You know, nothing's changed with us. We are focusing on the things that are important that we can do. Uh, you know, I can't, that was so many years ago, I, I'm not sure exactly, you know, how everything unfolded after we won the national championship, but you know what? You know, the outside distractions to us, uh, they're really, uh, they're really insignificant. That's why I don't want to spend a lot of time on it, because uh, I want to spend time on things that, that we can control and, uh, you know, that, that we're focused on. And so, uh, as
as I said, well, I can sleep good at night. Um, I feel very good in my heart that we're doing all the right things for all the university and we represent, you know, this athletic department and this, fo and this football program. Is that so? Gene, you talked in the past about wizards behind the curtain. Why do you think there has been such a steady drumbeat of, of negative publicity that, that's emerged in the last several months to a year? Why, why do you think that that keeps coming and seems to be uniquely focused on Auburn and not other schools? You know, uh, to be honest with you, I'm not really aware of all the things that are out there. You know, obviously this was brought to my attention today, and that's why I'm addressing it. Uh, you know me, you know I don't spend a lot of time on trivial things and people's opinions, and I still don't. Uh, but again, uh, I'm speaking up for Auburn University and how we're running this football program. So uh, I feel, uh, again, really good. Uh, I can't speculate as to who, what, why, where. Really don't have the energy or the time or the inclination to do that. Uh, and I will try to. I've seen a lot of players that come out today and spoke very strongly about the program here, how it was running, and how you in particular run. Is that so gratifying to you? Well, you know what, Mark, I don't know who did, uh, but I can tell you this, this place was built on great people and great players, and that's what this place stands for. So I don't know who they were, um, I'm sure that I'll eventually hear it and I'll appreciate it, uh, but, but they know what all is all about, and they, they know what we're trying to do. Does it, does it bomb you know, a lot, most of it, the majority of it involves unnamed boosters? be anybody. I mean, uh, and, and you know, there's almost only so much control you can have. I mean, you, you, know, you can't prevent a booster from you, know, you just can't. I mean, what, do you, what do you think about that? I mean, that aspect of it. Well, here's the thing. This, this is going to be the last question. You know, we're in spring practice. And I, that's what I'm going to focus on. So this will be my last question because I think you know how I feel. Uh, we are going to control what we can control. And we're going to do it in our hard hearts the best way we know how. And I can sleep really good at night knowing that. And that's what I know. All this other stuff I don't know. And to be honest with you, I really don't really have the energy to try to figure it out. But I know in my heart of hearts that we're doing things the right way to do it all. So you know how I feel.